Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So you might have an iPod or an iPhone that has all this space on it. Maybe you're not filling it with apps, or maybe you're not filling it with pictures, videos, podcasts, music. Maybe you've just got all this empty space. And even with all your media on there, you still have all this space to spare. Well, what if you could put files that weren't necessarily supported through iTunes onto your iPhone and be able to view those files as long as the iPhone supported it? Well, you may want to try downloading this app. It's called Air Sharing. Hopefully, you've already downloaded it. And the reason why is because today it's $7. But a few weeks ago, it was free. It was free for quite a while. And that's when I grabbed it. So what it does is essentially lets you drag and drop files into your iPhone wirelessly. You can browse it like you would any networked computer, and it gives you full instructions right there. It's, oh, I'm, I'm holding it upside down. There we go. Now it's flipping right side up. It'll give you the instructions, the HTTP, local address, port, and then you browse to it from any connected computer on your home network, and then the files will exist and can be viewed right here on the iPhone. So right now, I've got nothing in here, nothing. And I'm going to walk to the, uh, the camera to show you. Absolutely nothing. See that? Nothing. OK. So now, what I'm going to do is, uh, since I've already uh, got this thing connected and running, I'm going to drag and drop this particular picture of Ponzi into the iPhone. There's Ponzi here. She's got a nice red umbrella. Uh, so, so it's easy to see. So again, holding that up, I'm just going to drag and drop it in there. I've resized it so it'd be a quicker transfer. It's transferred. You saw a little transfer window go up. Look at that. Right there. Wireless. Click it. Yep, it's a photo. Yep, look at that. Isn't that great? Told you. So... Even if you didn't get it for free, it is worth $7. Now, as far as the file types that are supported, uh, iWork, which is a big deal if you are into Apple's suite, uh, their Office suite, and I love iWork, and that would include Pages, Numbers, Keynote, uh, Microsoft Office, Word, Excel, PowerPoint documents, limited support for XML formats, they note, Web Archives, and that would be web pages that were downloaded by Safari and packaged up by Safari, uh, Web Pages in general, PDF, HTML, RTF, rich text format, uh, plain text, source code, movies, like, you know, video files, including MPEG-4, 3GPP, etc. Audio, MP3, VBR, AAC, Audible, Apple Lossless, AIFF, Wave, CAF, etc. And images, GIF, PNG, JPEG, TIFF, etc. So essentially, if you're not using all that space on your iPod or your iPhone, and you have connected to the App Store, spend $7 if you didn't get air sharing for free. Now, I also must note that if you browse for air sharing in the iTunes App Store, you'll notice that it has four and a half stars rating from all the users and approximately 1,500 reviews at four and a half stars. Most likely, those reviews were done when it was available for free, but this is a rare exception. Buy it. If you have not bought it, buy it. I've looked at other uh, file sharing apps for the iPhone. This is simple. It's compatible with any operating system because it just mounts as a network device. So I just use Bonjour from uh, OS X. I could also browse to it from Windows or Linux. I mean, it's just data that sits on your iPhone, and there's really no easier way of getting it there without any cords or cables. Uh, it's kind of fun, to tell you the truth, to know that I can just easily get files without syncing to iTunes, easily get files from my desktop, or my laptop, or really any device on my network, onto the iPhone. It is quite simple. You saw how, you saw how it worked. Uh, and uh, there's not many configuration options at this point. You can enable sharing, of course disable, require a password, show file extensions, show invisible files, allow it to sleep after 10 minutes of inactivity or so, or you can change that number if you want. And of course, you know, because you're connected to the network, it is going to drain battery. But think about it. How else are you going to get to view a Word doc easily on your iPhone or a PDF? I mean, a, a workaround of that would be emailing it and then viewing the email 
here on the iPhone because you can view PDFs and text and most of these file formats from within mail. So you know the iPhone can support those file formats, but why Apple hasn't made it this easy? I don't know. Well, air sharing does. And if you're asking me if it's worth twice the price, it absolutely is if you've got a lot of space left over on your iPod or iPhone so long as you are connecting to uh, the iTunes App Store in, in some capacity. And, you know, because, you know, if you've got an older iPod, then you couldn't use that. You'd have to use something else. So, uh, yeah, two thumbs up, free or $7. Uh, I definitely got my money's worth either way, and I did get it for free, as I noted. But I'm sorry if you didn't get it for free. You probably should have been listening and watching earlier because, see, when I run into really cool things, I, like, tell people right away. The people who are watching get to find out what's going on before anybody else, really. Uh, because it's been a while since you know I've had the app. I just now am getting around to telling you. I was waiting for the price before I actually said anything. I know. I promise not to hold out on you too much. But my point is, stop by. Interact. We've got this live video feed. We've got this chat room. We've got a community of geeks just waiting for you to just join. Geeks.perillo.com is where you can, you know, read blogs. You can make a blog there. Join the forums. Uh, we've got photos, videos, uh, you, gr groups, uh, events. I mean, it's really a, a just. It's a community. It's a real place for a community of geeks. So I'm asking you, join us. And if you want to see what happens to be exciting me at any point during the day or potentially night, then you're more than welcome to stop by the live video stream, and you know, join us in the chat room. That's always as is every place on the internet open 24 hours a day seven days a week although we are typically talking tech even if i'm not here these geeks certainly are at live.perillo.com we'll see you later